It is the perfect blend of coffee and creativity as the Tampa Bay Coffee and Art Festival kicks off this weekend. Here to brew down the details is Tom Schultz, the CEO of the Noise Box, who is hosting the event, and Justin Hatton, who is the event coordinator. And we have Peter Davidson, who is the owner of Zeal Coffee Roasters, one of the coffee shops that's going to be represented there. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. And, uh, if this is not the perfect marriage, I'm so excited oh, yes. about the event. We're going to let you kind of kick it off, set the stage for us. What can people expect at uh, this year's Coffee and Art Festival. All right, so this year at Tampa Bay Coffee and Art Festival, we started in early spring of this year with our first event, and it's kind of crazy how it just kind of blew up. And with this year, we decided to do two different times, one from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., and then another from 6 p.m. to 9 a.m., just to get kind of like the date night crowd and then the people who don't want to mm -hmm. be up all night because they don't want coffee at the late night crowd. It's two shifts, so people, there's going to be time for people to go to the beginning one and okay. kind of go to the end one as well. All right, and then uh, let's talk about the popularity again. You yes. kind of touched on it, yes. and I love yes. it, and we're really going to dive into the popularity of the coffee scene in the yes. Bay Area as well. But, yeah, when you guys kicked this off at the beginning of the year, you had no idea how no big. Idea. You guys sold out fast. Yeah, we definitely we sold out quick. Um, <clears throat> when we first put the event page up, it was kind of cool. We actually just put it out to the staff of the organization, um, and the next morning we woke up, and there was like, you know, over a thousand people interested in the event. It was it was, was kind of crazy. How, yeah, how it you brought one example of so, some of the art yes. that you can see there. All um, local artists, but of course, it's the coffee makers uh, that are really kind of stealing the show. At least for us this morning. Explain it. We were talking about you know the craft beer scene is really kind of exploded here in the Bay Area. You say coffee is right behind it. It's going just as fast. I would say five to ten years behind it. Uh, we have a lot of friends in the industry that are opening up shops. Other coffee roasters moving into Tampa, whereas cities like in, in Portland and California. California, it's pretty much completely different there where they're about five or ten years ahead of us. So we're going to start seeing a wave of coffee shops, coffee roasteries, kind of taking over that commercial scene. Well, and especially when you have an events like this where you can come in. Let's go ahead and get you, because this is your saying when you come into your shop, that this is kind of how it's done. Yeah, so we use uh, a lot of high-end coffee, single farm, single origin coffees. Uh, we grind, which is, this is the grinder uh -huh. here, and then we brew it when somebody orders it. So it's not your typical just from a pot coffee. Uh, it gives it a little more flavor because there's a technique to it. Um, I can start brewing yeah, now go if ahead. you like. And then people, you're actually going to be, you'll be able to get samples of yep. the different kind of coffees because you won't be the only one there. You nope. got to share the love, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And so we do what's called um, a pre-infuse to start it. And that's what a machine won't do. Uh, what that does is when you grind coffee fresh, there's a lot of gases still in the beans, so that allows those gases to actually come out and not be in the cup. So it's going to be a, a more flavorful, less bitter, um, less astringent type taste. Well, and I love, I was asking, I hope I didn't offend you. I said, am I allowed to put creamer in this coffee? You Absolutely. Say, sure. What was um, your answer? Well, coffee is, um, is one of those things that anybody can can kind of pick and choose what they want to add. Um, what I had said to her, it's kind of like adding a Sprite to a wine, <laughs> making a spritzer. You know, if you're a winery, do you hand Sprite to somebody when they order a glass of wine? Probably not, but oh. you know, we, we know as Americans, cream is something that we become kind of accustomed to in our coffee. But so. you say if you're drinking a really good cup of coffee, you're probably not gonna need the creamer. Exactly, so the flavor of the coffee itself is gonna be so good that the creamer is gonna overtake that taste. Okay. And so you're gonna taste a lot more of the cream as opposed to the bitterness you get in a typical coffee that you might get from a shop or even at home. All right. Well, how many coffee um, representatives are we going to have at the show? How many we're going to be? Because kind of explain how the tickets work and then what you get with your ticket. So right now the tickets are $17 for, and it includes some of the stuff that we have yeah. over here. It includes a cup, or it includes a pen, it includes a shirt, and it includes a coffee tasting notebook. And then also when you purchase your ticket, you are now eligible to taste some of the coffees from the roasters, the roasters that we're going to be having there. So we have obviously Zeal coming out. We got Buddy Brew Coffee, another big name around the area. We got Birds of a Feather, and we also have Brown Bear Coffee coming out. But then we also have Spatty's Coffee coming out, which is kind of like a food truck coffee thing. They're really awesome guys, and they come out, and they're really great coffee. They use Zeal's Roast, so there's another place where awesome. you can get Zeal. And then also the Revolution Ice Cream is going to be coming out as well. Okay, great. Well, and there's the event details there. We're going to have all the info on our website as well. I know it's going to be another great oh, yeah. event. We're going to yes, be excited for the next one. I can't wait to try this. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And yeah, we'll be, we'll be keeping tabs on the, the coffee scene Excellent. as it explodes here in the Bay yes. Area. Thank you so much.